Hey, class, it's me, Mr. Ramos, but like in animated form. <laughs> I know it's cool, right? I'm still getting used to it. Well, today I'll be showing you a video on Leon Festinger's cognitive dissonance theory. Without further ado, I hope you all enjoy the video. Leon Festinger, an American social psychologist, perhaps best known for his cognitive dissonance theory. Cognitive dissonance theory suggests that an inconsistency of attitudes with others' beliefs or one's own behavior produces an uncomfortable tension state, dissonance. This motivates either change or defensive strategies. Festinger and some of his students were reading about some end-of-the-world predicting cults and noticed that they often did not give up on their beliefs when prophecies were disconfirmed. Festinger and his colleagues decided to study a specific cult formed by a Mrs. Keach. Keach claims that one early winter morning, she felt a warm tingling in her arm. She had a feeling that someone was trying to communicate to her. Keach picked up a pencil and paper and began writing in another handwriting, apparently not her own, but it seemed strangely familiar. Keach concluded that it was her father who was controlling her hand. He was trying to communicate to her from the dead. As this belief grew, Keach later theorized that if her dad can control her hand and communicate with her, so could other intelligent extraterrestrial beings from other planets, who apparently warned her of the end of the Earth. As she continued receiving these messages, Keech gained followers who also believed this prophecy. These followers gathered regularly to receive new incoming messages about the government, flying saucers, and the end of time. With the prophecy of doom ahead, Keech instructed all of her followers to meet at midnight as she received a message that they would be picked up by a flying saucer and saved from the dying world. But that didn't happen. The group waited, but no saucer ever picked them up. But still, the group kept meeting to have their expectations failed again, again, and again. Keech always had some form of justification as to why the saucers didn't pick them up. And even though this happened on several occasions, her followers would always still come back and listen to her. Why was that? Keech's followers believed that aliens from planet Claron were going to pick them up, but when they did, it created a lack of consistency or dissonance, which creates disequilibrium for us humans. One must either change one or the other of the conflicting belief or action in order to resolve the dissonance. So, in another example, let's say you want a cupcake, but you've been watching your figure. Cupcakes are junk food and eating healthy are two thoughts that are inconsistent with one another, creating dissonance. Mm. Now, there's a few ways we can resolve this. The first thing you can do is change a thought. Cupcakes are healthy. Even though this might not be true, the individual changes their beliefs to resolve the dissonance and justify eating the cupcake. And number two, change behavior. Cupcakes are unhealthy, and I want to learn to be healthier, so I will not eat the cupcake. Changing the behavior goes along with being healthy, thus resolving dissonance. And number three, add a thought. Cupcakes aren't healthy. I want to be healthy. But I did drink a lot of water and eat veggies today, so I earned the cupcake. Adding the third thought helps resolve dissonance by justifying eating the cupcake, thus restoring consistency. Oh, uh, hi there. I hope you liked the video and learned a lot. Until next time, thank you for watching.